Hey everyone, this is Next Archer. Thought I would do a everyday carry update for the summer. I start school in less than a week, so I wanted to get this video out. This is a Willem Steen Camp Custom from South Africa. So he's a South African custom knife maker. Uses blue and black G10. The blue G10 actually goes under the black bolster, as you can see there. M690 blade steel with a mirror polished flat and satin finish grinds. You can see his logo right there. Blue anodized and jeweled liners, and those are titanium. And blue anodized titanium pocket clip, right hand, tip up carry only. I did custom order the pocket clip so I want him to put a pocket clip. He does lots of different modifications depending on what you want on the knife, so you can completely customize it. I know he can do desert iron wood for the handles, all different combinations. He normally does not do pocket clips though. So, if you're interested in his knives, this is his name right there. And that's the specifications on the knife. Uh, very nice knives he makes. So next let's go with the wallet. It is a Spec Ops wallet, somewhat large, and can be difficult to get in and out of the pocket, but I have been somewhat enjoying it, or I do somewhat enjoy it. Um, has a ID pouch in the front, which is nice if you're going to like a knife show or something, have a media pass, you can put it in there, and it has two little lanyard parts so that you can put this around your neck, be showing your ID. Uses a shark bite closure so no velcro involved which is loud and annoying made in the USA as you can see right there I will put a link in the description to a Amazon place to purchase some of these items in case you're wanting them another ID pouch as well as a zippered area to put coins and that type of stuff lots of places to put cards if I had not already said that to put cash, you can put it in there, as well as there is kind of like a hidden second compartment that is zippered. I like to use that for larger bills. As you can see, there's none in there currently. But, and then another little made in the USA tag. Overall, the wallet's nice, really thick though, so it can be uncomfortable if you have it in your back pocket. So I'll probably end up switching out my wallet soon. Um, next, let's go with my sunglasses. These are Oakley Frog Skins with green lenses. Super bright in the sun, so I find them fun. A lot like the Ray-Ban version. Um, it's not like a knockoff, and they're not comp competing companies as they're owned by the same company. Made in the USA, as you can see right there. I like them. They're fun. And they were inexpensive for Oakley sunglasses. I think I got them for like... 40 bucks or something, maybe 45. Next we have a handkerchief, or a, well, yeah, handkerchief. Put this in my back right pocket and use it for really whatever I need it for. Um, if I'm sweating, I'll wipe my head with it, or if I forgot a napkin, I can use this. So, uh, something you can use for all different stuff. Next we have the phone, HTC Evo Shift. Really like this phone, although there are some problems that I've had with them. It has a pull-out keyboard as well as its touchscreen, so that's nice. Um, one problem I've had is that for some reason when I try to upload pictures onto Instagram using it, it just gives me an error message and won't upload anything, so that's annoying. Other problem is I've had three of them fail on me already, so this is my fourth one. The first one, I got a little bit of water. I mean, just a small amount on the keyboard, and it now randomly shuts off. The next one, the backlight went out on the screen. Was going to replace the um, light or whatever and see if it was the wires. However, you have to have one of those soft pry tools, which was like $5. So I just bought a new one, or a technically used one, for like $11 on eBay. Except the problem with that one was like this part of the screen did not respond to touch. So I contacted the seller and he sent me another one. This one works perfectly, although now I have 
three extras. I'll probably end up working on them. I got a plastic pry bar to try to pry this open. We'll see if that works. I don't know. Um, so that's mostly what I carry. Lastly, nobody really shows their shoes they can, they have on them, but I mean I carry them or I have them on me every single day. These are the Nike Furies. Just recently got them. Uh, they're a little bit lighter than the shoes I was using previously, which was the Nike Free 4.0s. Really like them. They're super light. I think 8.8 .8 ounces or something. Let's see. I know they're on their website it says 8.4, but I think it's actually heavy, heavier than that. Uh, ounces. 8.8. .8. Yeah, on their website it says 8.4. But I really like them. They're comfortable and I'm used to them. So, not any good for hiking or off trail stuff. But they're comfortable. When walking around, I like running shoes to just walk in. Um, so, that is my everyday carry. Let me know what you guys carry for your everyday carry. And there you go. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Have a great day.